Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install a custom mod pack that is using Forge or Fabric running Minecraft 1.16.5 or older. If you have another version, please check the link in the description for those specific videos as the steps change depending on which Minecraft version the mod pack uses. Installing custom mod packs can have different steps depending on which mod pack, and it's impossible to go over all the scenarios in which you might run into. If you have any questions, you can at any time open a ticket and talk to our support team who can help you 24-7 with anything you need. Also, if you have the advanced support add-on, or if you own a premium Bisect hosting server, you can actually have this done automatically by also opening up a ticket and letting them know which mod pack you would like to have installed. First, we are going to load into our Bisect Hosting Premium or Budget panel and stop our server. We will then go to the Modpacks website to find the files needed to download. For this example, we will be using Better Minecraft running Forge Minecraft 1.16.5. We will then scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16 server packs on the right side and choose the orange download button for the latest version. Once we have this downloaded, I suggest creating a new folder on the desktop and dragging that zipped file into the new folder. Once here, extract all the files into our new folder. Here's where things can change depending on which mod pack that you downloaded, and there's a few things to look out for. At the end of this step, you ultimately need to see a forge-minecraft version dash forge version dot jar, as well as a minecraft underscore server and then the Minecraft version .jar. You may not see these two files that you have in this folder, and that's okay. We will go over what you can do to get these files. There are a few different things you may see. One of them is a start.ps1, or some kind of start file. You can choose that and have it run, and then you should see the versions. If you don't have that, you might have like an install.bat file or some sort of .bat file that you have to run as well. That will also be run, and then once you finish running that, you will also have the Forge version and the Minecraft server.jar. Most mod packs will have some sort of text document going over exactly how to do that, but of course, if you have any questions, you can ask our support at any time. In our specific example, we have a start.ps1. We are going to right click and choose run with PowerShell. You will have all of these things come up. It'll say, are you sure you want to continue? You just type in yes, and it will continue writing all of this. There's gonna be a ton of stuff that's happening on screen. This happens when you run this PowerShell or any .bat files. This is totally normal. It's just basically extracting files. So you don't have to download all those files individually from the website. Once this is finished, it asks us if we agree to Mojang's EULA. Just type, I agree. Once that's finished, it will say press any key to continue. Once that's done, you will see a forge.jar and a minecraft underscore server dot jar file. We will right click the forge.jar file and choose rename. We will rename this to custom. Once that is renamed, we are going to select all of the files in this folder, right click and choose send to compressed zipped folder. Once that's done compressing, we are going to open up our server with an FTP client. If you do not know how to use an FTP client, I will have a link in the description with a tutorial going over how to link your Minecraft server to an FTP client. Once that's connected, we are going to drag and drop the compressed.zipped folder into the FTP client, which will add this to our server. Once this is finished, we can go back to our Bisect Hosting Control Panel choose file manager once here we will see the zipped file that we uploaded from our ftp client we are going to choose that and go to the green more button and select unarchive once that's finished unzipping we're going to go back to the home page and open the jar menu from here we're going to scroll down until we see custom and we are going to choose the custom dot jar and it has a button next to it saying java 8. Once we apply that, it will ask what we would like to do with our current server files. We will choose to keep the files. And once that's finished, we can start our server with the new mod pack installed. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com kb, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. 
If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.